Hi, I'm Noah. And I'm Nick. And welcome back to the Red Coat Rundown. Quarter four has started this week, and I can't believe it. I know. We are in the final countdown to April break, and I can't wait. Let's talk about a few things going on this month. Have you heard that we are having a culture day at BHS soon? No, but it sounds interesting. You can join us in celebrating the rich tapestry of cultures that make our school community unique. The culture exhibit invites you to explore the world without leaving the comfort of our school grounds. Discover the beauty and diversity of our BHS community. If you are interested in participating and sharing your culture, please fill out this form found in Schoology. If you have any questions, please email Mrs. Quintiero. This event will take place on April 30th between 10.30 a.m. to 2 p.m. That's so cool. I'll have to check it out. April is Autism Awareness Month. At BHS, we choose to include, get involved and make a difference. Now let's head over to Sports Center with CJ to hear about what's happening this week. Thank you. Red Coat Sports are starting off strong this spring. Here are some game highlights over the last week. Boys baseball starting the season with a dominant performance over Immaculate High School winning 12-2. Max Weber hit a home run and added a bases clearing triple for a four RBI effort. Evan Gentile struck out eight and allowed two hits and five innings on the bump. Red Coat softball also won their competitive match with a 6-3 score against Bristol Central with a hard-fought comeback. Ellie Kugno went 2-for-4 with three RBIs to support, to support the seven-strikeout effort to Maddie Moda. Boys tennis starts off with an electric win over East Hartford, winning 6-1. to one. Anthony Manfort and Connor Lindsay had key singles wins, while Austin Bonsenia and Ryan Matan were double standouts. Girls tennis won their match against Newington by a score of 5-2. to two. Claudia Fittick had an impressive singles win, while Taylor DeMeo and Jatna Vega had a key doubles win, needing a third set tiebreaker. Girls Lacrosse also won their match against Newington by a score of 14-13. to Sarah Langford had nine saves in that, while Sydney Bronk had four goals alongside Paige Kemish with three goals. Boys and Girls Track Meet against Louis Mills was unfortunately rescheduled to the, due to the rain on Tuesday and was moved to Thursday, April 18th. That's all for this week. Now back to the news desk. Now that spring is almost here, there are many activities happening at BHS. So let's send it over to Noah with the upcoming events for April. Hi, welcome back to upcoming events. I'm Noah. April is a packed month with a lot going on at BHS, so let's go ahead and take a look. This week, many students have taken the Seal of Biliteracy test, where students are assessed on their speaking and listening skills. April break starts this weekend. We are off from the 8th to the 12th. We hope everyone gets a chance to relax and hopefully enjoy some nice weather. Saturday, April 20th, is Junior Prom. We hope our juniors have a great time. The next day, Sunday, is Mr. BHS. Be sure to check it out. It is always a laugh out loud experience. From the 22nd to the 26th, Science will be administering NGSS testing for our juniors. Be sure to show your spirit with your grid with the upcoming Spirit Week and Pep Rally from the 29th to the 3rd. Don't forget to follow us on socials to get the latest information on upcoming events at BHS. That's all for the month of April. Bye. Thank you, Noah. The BHS Art League has been working nonstop to complete their beautiful annual projects. Now we'll send it over to Nora on site with Ms. Galasso. So the theme, as you can see, is uh, a space theme that the kids have voted on. And actually, Chelsea brought the space up first, and the rest of the kids were like, oh, that's such a great idea. So we're going to do that, and they all decided to run with that theme. So um, what we do is, uh, I usually, it's pretty open-ended each year. So I say to the kids, okay, here's what the, the window looks like. What would you envision on that window? And then from there, um, they all get their sketches together. Then they, uh, a theme kind of rises to the surface. They vote on that theme. And then from there, they take their ideas and kind of tailor it to that theme. So pretty much what you see up here is like what their sketches kind of look like, but now it's space-oriented. You know? So it has to be a space coffee shop. We usually run every Thursday from like 2.15 to about 3 o'clock. We're doing right now for the Berlin Grounds painting till 3.30 just to give them time because by the time you set up and clean up it takes time. And then, um, yeah, so it only moves when we have like conferences on a Thursday. Yeah. And 
yeah, they, anytime they want. So they can come see me if they want to get into Schoology. We have the code. Actually, we can put it right here, right? <laughs> and um, they, you can join that way. You can also email me. You can ask questions. Usually it's student-driven. So at the beginning of the school year, we got together like on our second meeting and said, okay, what are the things you want to do? What do we bring back from last year? What do you want to see? And it's usually student-driven. So we'll look at the list and what we didn't do. And we'll probably do like a you know, mix-match character design day, maybe painting uh, chalk drawing on the sidewalks and the outdoorsy, like an end-of-the-year gathering. So there's some things on the docket for May when we're all done with this project. Awesome. Thank well, you. Thank you for interviewing. Yeah. yeah. What beautiful work they have done. Thanks, Nora. Absolutely. We can see all the hard work they have been doing, and it looks great. Thank you all for tuning in this week, and we will all see you next week. Bye. Bye.